Hello, this is Scott Cunningham, founder of ArcLight Dynamics, and in this video we'll be discussing an error on a pierce. So an error on a pierce simply is the machine goes down, tempts the fire, and does not fire. So that can be due to a number of reasons, whether it is a problem with the plasma, problem with your air, problem, problem with your torch. So first off, I have this little bottle opener loaded up. You could be using any file really. As long as you're gonna as long as your file has multiple pierces in it, like this one, it's got three pierces. Don't use one that only has two. It might be a little bit confusing to follow along. Now this file is specifically set up for the material that I'm cutting and the nozzles that I currently have in the torch. Currently I have fine cut nozzles in the torch, and this material is 14 gauge. So, this program, this was programmed in sheet cam using the fine cut 14 gauge tool. Very important, you don't use a 45 amp 14 gauge tool when you're actually trying to use fine cut. People make that mistake all the time, but there's a big difference in the voltage feedback between the two and they will not cut out properly. So. Save yourself some hassle. Always remember if you're using fine cut tools or fine cut shield and nozzle, you must be using a fine cut tool in sheet cam. So I have already homed the machine and I have zeroed out where I want to start my cut. So for starters, and I'm going to intentionally cause an error on my plasma and you're going to see what happens. So, I'm going to hit the run button. Well, actually first, I'm going to go through my checklist. I have my air on. I have my plasma on. I have it set to the right settings. I have the correct uh, nozzle and shield in. I have the correct program loaded up that's programmed for this part. There's nothing in the way of the machine moving. I have the right material on the table. I have the, my ground clamp connected. Everything looks good. I've looked it over. I'm happy with the code. I'm happy with where I'm going to cut it out on the plate. And I've zeroed out my part or my uh, part zero. So at this point, I'm ready to run. So I'm going to hit run. It's going to ask me to check my settings, as it always does. And click OK. And then when I hit resume, I'm going to let the part cut the first hole. And then what I'm going to do is cause the error on the second pierce. And we're going to show you how you take care of this. Okay. My torch stopped sitting there. As you can see, Looking right here, my torch, the machine is trying to find the fire of the torch. It, the machine is holding its motion and it's waiting for the arc OK, arc OK, basically. So until it gets that arc OK saying that it will not move. Okay, so I have to look at this and say, what happened? Well, the first thing you always want to look at really is the front of your plasma cutter. So if you look down at the front of your plasma cutter, you may notice the first thing you're looking for is a orange light on the lower left. That orange light indicates that there's a fault. And in the left hand side of the display window, it will tell you a number. And basically, so what I have is a 0 0.22 error currently. 022 error for me means no gas on my plasma cutter. I have no air and that's because I removed the air hose from the plasma cutter in between those two cuts in order to cause this error. Now that could happen. Your, your compressor could run out of air. Uh, you may have a kink in the line. Um, that air problems are, are a common cause for um, misfires like this. 
Um, you could have a variety of other options too. There's a whole list of errors and if you want to reference your hypotherm manual to understand the different errors and what they mean. So first thing you want to do is you look on your hypotherm, see if there's an error. And then the next thing you want to do, first, okay, before you fix any errors, you want to hit the stop button, okay? Because right now the machine is trying to turn on the torch. It's in the middle of a run, okay? Because it's trying to fire the torch, that can cause problems for you. You don't want it to try to fire the torch while you're fixing an error on your plasma, okay? Because in order to usually fix the errors on your plasma, you have to cycle the power switch. And when you cycle that power switch off and then back on, if your plasma or your uh, control system is trying to fire the torch, when you turn it back on, you're going to get another error. Caused, basically, a trigger was pulled when the power was turned on. And it's a, it's a fault. And so, depending on the system you have, you may also be able to not only just look at your plasma, but if you have the arc sync system, like we have on here, that automatically communicates with your plasma, it will show you the error code right down here. And it actually shows you a little bit more complicated error code, so it gives you an extra number, so it helps you uh, diagnose even better. So no gas input is basically what it's telling you here. So if you have that arc sync, really nice, simple way to see what the errors are very quickly. Okay, so I've stopped my machine, pulled it out of the run mode, it stopped trying to fire the torch, I identified my error on my plasma. It's a lack of air. So in this case, I simply plug my air back in. And then in order to clear that air, I turn my plasma off and back on. Now on my 65, it's a big switch in the back. Okay, that clears the error. And you can see it cleared the error down here and made it go away. So now, how do I get it to fire again? Well, it's just like we talked in other videos, rewinding the code. So I have to rewind the code because I have passed the M03. So if I just hit run, the machine will simply run through the code. That's not what I want. It's not going to fire the torch because it will not read this M03. So what I want to do, just like before, you always start from the previous M05. So I can go up to M05, click right there, and now I'm going to hit run from line. This time, the machine's going to move back up, come back down, go through its uh, touch-off sequence, because this is really what you want. You always want your machine to go through the touch-off sequence properly, and then it's going to attempt to fire again. And this time, because I have my air on and everything looks good, it's going to do the cut. Okay, so first off, again, rewind the previous M05. I'm going to hit run from line. After it does this cut, I'm going to pause it in between before it goes to the next cut. Okay, so run from line. It goes back, touches off. Makes the cut. So, now on this here, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to hit resume so it continues and goes through the touch off. The machine tries to fire. I get what's called a misfire. So the machine's just sitting there waiting for that torch to fire. Now in this instance, I'm going to the plasma off. First step, I hit stop which is being fired. Second step, I look at my plasma. Do I have an error? Well, I do have an error. I haven't turned my plasma on. Okay. I fix my error. And then I want to restart this cut. I can't simply hit run and have the machine continue because it will not fire this torch.
because the M03 is up here. So I rewind to the previous M05. I hit run from line. And the machine is going to move back up, back over, and then do its touch off again. And then on the second time, it should fire and finish out the part. There we go. So, I highly, highly recommend you practice this until it becomes second nature. You don't want to remember, forget how to fix your, your hat. Um, you can always recover from just about any kind of error. There is almost no reason that you should be throwing away a piece of material. The only really reason that you can't is if your material actually moves. If you actually, for some reason, have your material move, gets knocked or pushed, or vibrates or moves somehow, uh, there's really, unless you have um, some positive stops that allow you to get right back in the same position, then you're not going to be able to get it back on track. So that's an error on a pierce. Thanks for watching and I hope that video was helpful. Please remember our primary goal is to make your purchase profitable. So don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can reach us at 866-222-2154 or head over to our website where you'll find a complete list of all of our training materials. Thank you.